Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and welcome back to one of my favourite areas on the map, on Chernus anyway, and that is Skaliski Island. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can not only really survive on Skaliski Island, but use it as a jumping off point, um, as kind of a mini base area that will then allow you to have a fairly well equipped player that you can then use to go over the mainland and then go off on whatever mission you want to do without having to go through the dangerous process of trying to loot up in the coastal towns. Um, now you've probably seen lots of videos online of people who go, how I survived on an island in DayZ for two months and things like that. Well, this is kind of the same sort of thing. And the reason why I did it was because I was on this server and I kept getting killed on the coast all the time. So I would spawn in, I would start looting up, someone would kill me. I would go inland a little bit, find a watering hole, somebody would kill me. So I thought, sod it, I was I got a spawn down here in the southeast. I'm just gonna swim across to the island. And I did. And then I got enough kit to kit out my character and create a little mini base and bury some stuff as well, so that if I died, I could come back and get that sort of stuff. So the kind of stuff you can kind of expect to end up with on Skaliski is kind of what I've got on here. So what you'll find is you'll find plenty of hunter stuff, you'll find chain mail. Uh, you'll find things like running boot, running uh, shoes or trainers, um, basic hats, um, blazes and uh, long horns you'll find. You'll probably find things like hunter's knives, you'll make lots of rags, you'll get some, some food, you'll probably find a compass, you'll get lots of chlorine tablets, uh, maybe a pickaxe if you're lucky, maybe some other basic tools. There won't be any military stuff that spawn over here. If you're very lucky you might even get a crossbow and lots of bolts. I know I've picked those up as well. Um, and not only will you get this, but you'll also get m enough to be able to come to be able to store some of that stuff, and then, as I say, use this as a jumping off point. So let's just get down here and kind of show you kind of um, what I would do. So the first thing you want to do is obviously this helps if you get a spawn near the southeast corner of Cherneris because you know you want to be able to choose the closest point and swim across straight to Skaliski Island. Um, and then what you need a bit of luck because what you want to do is you'll want to head up to the kind of the mo mo main point of interest on the island, which is the castle. And really, the, what you want to do is go straight to the little uh, kiosks that are up here. There's two kiosks. There's one here, and so you check inside here, avoiding the zombies at this point. Um, and you'll find things like maces and maybe great helms. You there tends to be lots of shotgun ammo for some reason. Um, maybe some food. There we go. There's a plastic bottle that I could take. Remember, empty that. You don't want to drink out of it straight away. So there's that um, kiosk there. And then there's another kiosk here. Now, if you're lucky enough to pick up a nice weapon from these kiosks straight away, there are... Ooh, here we go. There's a zombie here. What you want to do is you want to use kind of every opportunity to kill the zombies you come across because you'll want what they've got on them and about every fourth zombie you come across will probably have some food on them and you may find like this guy's got a hat on him so we, oh, it's ruined now but we would take that hat and you know and we would use it also where you can as well you want to kill them via stealth um, so that you don't have the risk of getting into a fight and using the bandages you have as a fresh spawn um, and then once you've clear, cleared that out, you then go to this little inn, which is just outside. And what you want to just concentrate on is whenever you find anything, do something with it. So if it's some clothes and you've got a knife, you'll want to um, cut it up and make rags. Um, even if it's something you're not quite sure you're going to use, take it, and then we can always use it a little bit later. Because it's all about making use of, or trying to make use of, every single thing you've got. Now, once you've done that, we want to head down there. So on the map, that is these houses here. So let me use the magic of admin tools. Let's jump down here. And at this little hamlet of houses, there is a water pump. So here you can drink with your hands or you can empty that water bottle, fill it up, and we're good for water. You don't have to worry about water on Skilidski Island. Then you'll want to hunt this house, hunt the shed, hunt that house, uh, remember, don't forget um, the toilets, they will often have stuff in them. And also make sure you search these little boats, because often these will have dry bags. There we go, there's a dry bag. And dry bags are great, because not only do they have lots of capacity, you can bury them. Also, if you're lucky enough to come across a 
pickaxe like I have here, or you come across um, a screwdriver or something like that, you want to, at the earliest opportunity, harvest the rocks for smaller rocks. So what you do is you can go up to these big rocks and you harvest a stone. Let's get a stone. There we go. So we've got a stone. And once you've got a stone, you can combine that with your screwdriver or your pickaxe um, or other blunt weapons. And then you can split that if you do it correctly and don't let go like me. And what this will give you is two small stones and you can then combine them and that will give you a stone knife. And the reason we want lots of stone knives is because the um, the metal knives that you will find, you will find hunting knives and you will find um, steak knives and that sort of stuff, but the problem is generally on vanilla servers they spawn in damaged um, and you don't want to waste what you have in steel knives with doing things like cutting wood for firewood or collecting sticks and that sort of stuff. You want to keep um, your steel knives for doing stealth kills on zombies. Um, and then when you want to go off and do some, um, you know, gather some sticks or something like that, that's when you use your stone knife. If you want to get some um, bark off a tree to start a fire, that's when you use a stone knife. So once you've done that little hamlet there, you check all these boats here, check all these boats here, check all those boats, check that shed there, check that shed there, check that house there, check that toilet there. There's normally two zombies spawned just over here. So you want to stealth kill them, so creep up behind them and, and kill them. Then where you want to go is you go past the ruins and you go down to here and there's another house. So loot that house. Once you've done that house, come back the way you came but go to the right of the ruins, back towards the castle and then you'll find this little shed here. Um, a little industrial shed. So you'd be surprised what you find in here. Here we go, we've got some wire. Um, so we can make we can make a trap with that with some with a stick as well uh, or you might find some um, jumpsuit trousers or jumpsuit tops you know good good cold weather equipment um, and often there'll be a zombie hanging around here as well and at that point you can then go back up to the castle and have a look around there again and check the uh, inn that's outside or check the kiosks in the castle or if you go to the west of the castle here there is a little shed here which you can uh, maybe find some stuff in and then you carry on going west and you go down here let's see if I can see it from here so you go down here let's zoom over there and there's another house here so again you go through here and if you find any clothes cut them up for rags anything you see just take it with you because we want we're probably going to use most most of the stuff and you just keep going round like that and keep killing those zombies, keep stealth killing them. And with a little bit of luck, you'll end up fairly well equipped. Now, what you'll want to do at some point is probably make a little base. And the best sort of base, I think, for Skilliski Island is the improvised shelters. So if we go over, ooh, let's have a look over here. Hopefully I'll be able to find my improvised shelter. Let's have a look. See if you spot it before I do. And you make the easiest improvised shelter, with, which is the one you make out of sticks. So you need, I think you need four big sticks, some rope, um, and you need 50 little sticks. And that will make an improvised shelter for you. And what you do is, when you make one, make it where there's some other bushes, and make it so it's pointing towards the sea. So you should be able to see it on the screen now. Here we go. So here, this is an improvised shelter. See how well camouflaged it is. And then inside here, we have loads of storage. We've got 100 storage. Also, if we had any dry bags, we would then be able to bury them around various places around the map. And these are so simple to make that you could have a few of these dotted around um, Skiliski remember put them away from where people would be looting and not many people will be able to find them if you put two of them back to, well not back to back but kind of front to front um, in a wooded area they are virtually invisible 
Now, as far as food goes, as I said, what you'll be able to do is you will find some basic food as you're running around. There is a chance of chicken spawning. I don't think anything else spawns, so you may well get the odd cluck cluck of a chicken. And if you do, you want to find it and kill it and obviously cook it. However, what you're probably more likely to get more of is is um, is is fish. So you may be lucky enough to find a fishing rod. Uh, if you don't, remember you can make an improvised fishing rod out of a long stick and rope. And remember you can make rope out of rags. And then all you need is the hooks. Hooks are a little bit more complicated. Really, you need to have really something like, from what I remember, you can only really get improvised hooks from bones, which is really from chickens again. So, you know, if you get a chicken, as soon as you've got some bones, that's it, you're good to go. And you can use a knife to cook up, to dig up some worms, add them to the uh, improvised uh, hook that you get from chicken bones, add that to your, your fishing rod, go fishing. And the sea fish, I guess it's bass or something like that, or sea trout that you get from around here, is very, very nutritional. And basically, you keep doing this, um, so eating and then you know drinking water from from the water pump until you get your character basically up to full stats so you've got full health you've got full food you've got full drink um, and really at this point you're good to go on a further adventure and you'll also have probably what, at least one maybe two improvised shelters dotted around the island you probably have a couple of stashes of dry bags that you've buried that have got stuff in them and what i like to do with my dry bags when i find them is i make up like a new starters kit so in the dry bag I'll have a different top, I'll have a pair of leggings, I'll make some improvised um, gloves, I'll put some shoes in there. If I've got a spare knife I'll put in that, if that in there, I'll put some chlorine tablets in there. If I've found a spare canteen that'll go in there, if I've found a compass that'll go in there, if I've got some ammo that'll go in there. So it's all ready for my next character, if I get killed, to come back over to Skilliski, find it and then really have a, you know, you obviously need to have something to dig up the um the bag but i tend to put, try and put something like in my improvised shelter dig it up and then we're ready to go again so next time you're out and you're getting a little bit you know frustrated frustrated maybe or maybe you're a bit bored and you want to try something new consider coming over to skilliski and living the island life for a few days and gathering that kit together and it's definitely definitely taught me a lot more about how you can survive in daisy um, in, a, in a much smaller area and it'll also sharpen up your survival skills in terms of making fires, making shelters, making fishing rods, going fishing, all that sort of stuff um, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy it and I'm looking forward to using this technique to then strike out towards the mainland so I don't have to do that risky coastal town and city looting that you know you're going to get killed by someone who enjoys hunting freshies. So there we go how to survive and thrive on Skilliski Island. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have hit like, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.